we calculate the toxicity of the vaccine for all ages, and the number allows us, given the number of doses that have been given worldwide, to conclude that 17 million people would have been killed by this vaccine. You can actually see when there's a rollout of a booster, for example, which happens very quickly in time for a given age group, you can actually see immediately following it the, a, a maximum in the all-cause mortality. So an excess mortality actual peak that's temporally associated with that rollout. And we see that repeatedly for each rollout. Consistently across all countries. All the countries that have sufficient data where you're able to look at it and you have both the vaccine data and the mortality data, this is what we see. When you look at uh, all-cause mortality, you see that deaths are increasing in the, in the winter and decreasing in the summer. And it's the opposite in the southern hemisphere. Their summer is our winter. So in the summer, you should have a low death. But during the COVID vaccine campaign, suddenly you see spikes in mortality right after uh, vaccine uh, campaigns. And it's very clear because it's in the summer where you should see a low death period. Especially in the boosters, like for the southern Especially hemispheres, boosters, like the, yeah. you have a peak, you know, across the boosters will roll out basically everywhere at the same time around the world. And in the southern hemisphere, it's a trough, as Jeremy just explained, so we should have a trough. But then you have an actual so winter peak, actual booster peak, and another winter peak. Yes. So that's everywhere in all the 17 countries we yes. worked out. Uh, when data is good in the southern hemisphere, we saw that peak. And something you never saw before. Exactly. It's